So remember the blob? Okay, not the one with Steve McQueen from 1958, great movie, but the blob of warm water that lurked off the Pacific Ocean in 2014 and 2015, only about 500 kilometers off the south coast of BC. That's the one that coexisted with a strong high pressure system in the atmosphere that led to record heat, record dry, and eventually record drought conditions across the Pacific Northwest. The blob has since dissipated, but a new study just published shows that the blob also led to a spike in ozone levels across the western U.S. and likely north of the border. The warm, dry and low wind conditions that the blob brought about inland actually helped to speed up the formation of ozone in the atmosphere. And ozone in the lower atmosphere is actually very harmful to human health. It's the high ozone in the upper levels of the atmosphere that forms a protective layer that shields the planet from that harmful UV radiation. A team of scientists from the University of Washington had been tracking levels of ozone, a compound with three atoms of oxygen that can irritate the lungs. They were tracking that in central Oregon and they found highly elevated levels of ozone throughout the region during the blob years. Because ozone forms when hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides, which are usually emitted as pollutants from cars, they undergo a complicated chemical reaction with sunlight in the atmosphere. The team suspected that the blob may have fueled those high ozone levels at lower levels. Both sunlight and high temperatures fuel faster ozone formation, and in a low wind situation, you don't get the basic building blocks, those pollutants, blowing away, making it easier for ozone to form. The blob, as us meteorologists affectionately called the warm mass of water, occurred from the winter of 2014 through to the summer of 2015, when high sea surface temperatures prevailed in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. The warmer waters, about one to four degrees Celsius, higher than average for the region, spanned from the coast of Sitka, Alaska, to Santa Barbara, California. Scientists will be researching more about the effects of climate change and what that means for these blobby weather patterns and big scale events like El Nino. So stay tuned. And now, your science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.